Okay, we're going to show you a little PowerPoint animation here to give you an idea of how sine wave animation work in terms of our theory of market movement. So let's begin by showing you what appears to be a typical stock chart. You see movement and a support line is formed at these two prior lows, short-term lows. And that support line is broken. Prices break down, as you might expect them to do, after the breaking of a support line. And then you have a downtrend line. One, two, three, four hits on that line, on the downtrend line. That's broken to the upside. Prices begin to move up, as you might expect, from a typical stock chart and technical analysis. And after moving up a little bit, we get a triangle formation with a rising bottoms line here and the tops of the triangle here showing uh, the uh, resistance on the upside. That triangle is broken out of to the upside and we get an acceleration to the upside to new highs in the stock chart. So as I said this appears to be a typical stock chart but let's show you what it really is. What it really is is a combination of this long cycle, a perfect sine wave, up and down the same rate and if you add a second sine wave in shorter duration smaller magnitude and a third one again shorter duration yet and smaller magnitude and finally a fourth sine wave cycle in orange much shorter duration and much smaller magnitude. So those would represent ideally and hypothetically cycles in the market. What about fundamentals? You say, well, fundamentals usually act in a relatively straight line, uh, moving up or sideways or down at varying angles of ascent and descent. And so let's put in what we might call a fundamental line here, saying that uh, fundamentals are moving to the upside, at least slightly, if not better than that. So we now have four sine waves representing cycles. We now have a, a straight line going up at a slope representing fundamentals. Let's put them all together. Let's add at each point on this axis, the x-axis going across here, let's add each one of the distances of these and see what we come up with. And this is what we come up with. It should look very familiar. That's the apparently typical stock chart we looked at earlier. Here's the support line right here. Here's the descending tops line. Here's the triangle. Here's the breakout. All that is is a combination of all these cycles. So if we can put that theory together, and let's say this is a 20-week sine wave, 20-week cycle in the market, we should be able to do an analysis on that cycle in terms of its magnitude by offsetting that cycle 10 weeks to the right. That's the half span of the 20-week cycle, and it would look like this dotted line. It's now exactly the same as the cycle, except it's moved one half span of the cycle to the right. And look what happens. What happens is that the original sine wave or cycle crosses the offset sine wave at the halfway point on the way up and on the way down. Let's make it a, a little more like a stock chart. This is of course idealized again moving up and down and up on a 20 week cycle 20 weeks between these two lows and between the highs and if we offset that take the midpoint of each one of these bars offset it 10 weeks again you have the halfway moves on the cycles Halfway of the move down is right here. Halfway of the move up is here on that particular cycle. And that's our theory of how prices move. 